Do you want to start a cybersecurity consulting business as a freelancer? In today's video, I'm going to explain the steps to success on becoming a consultant and building out your business. If I was going to start a cybersecurity freelance consultancy from the start all over again, these are the steps that I would take. If I had very little to maybe a medium range of security experience, I would start with contracting. Contracting is a great way to build up money so that you have some money in the bank to either purchase property or assets or whatever it is so that you have some cash flow when you actually go ahead to start your cybersecurity consultancy. Contracting jobs pay a ridiculous amount of money. It's usually about two to three times the price of working full time. This really gives you some freedom and a lot of people just continue contracting for the remainder of their career and that's perfectly fine. Having this cash flow though is very important when starting a consultancy because you do need that money to do advertising, to be able to pay yourself when you're not actually earning money from your own clients yet. But it also gives you the freedom where you're not specifically working for someone else. You're working usually through a contracting agency like NTT or Data3 or one of the many recruitment companies out there that brings in people as contractors to then place them into jobs. So you're not actually working for that company. So there's less of a issue with conflict of interest when starting your own consultancy. Please do check the contract terms though, so that you're not stepping over your boundaries here because the last thing you wanna do is to get sued. Now, while contracting, the thing that I would recommend everyone do here in their spare time is to build connections. Get out there, start networking, talk to other business owners, small business owners, medium-sized businesses, everything in between. You need to talk to a lot of people to start building out this business relationship with different types of clients in different types of industries. I would recommend going to meetings like BNI meetings or different types of business networking groups where you are quite literally put in front of other business owners to talk with them. With building business relationships, this actually enables you to then offer services to these businesses so that you can start growing out your own consultancy. But having the money coming in from contracting roles, which is probably going to be your main full-time job, this just makes life so much easier. So, so much easier where you are not then worrying about income yet. The next step to take here is to actually start your consultancy, build your website, build your social pages, start doing outreach to clients through either those business networking events that you're going to or through LinkedIn or phone calls or whatever it is. It's, there's really no limit to how many messages you can send on, well, there is, there's limitations by the platforms, but there's no limit that you're actually going to reach personally to be able to do this. There's a tool called LA Growth Machine, which does help with the LinkedIn side of things. This isn't a promotion, it's just some general knowledge that that is a solution you can use to do automated outreach. However, I find Automated outreach is very hit and miss, whereas direct outreach where you're actually typing the messages and reaching out to these people works much, much better. The plan here is to build out five clients that you're working with. If that's for cybersecurity solutions, if that's general IT solutions, whatever it is, build out five clients and start selling recurring services. Once you have five clients and you've figured out how to really communicate your services and start promoting these across to different types of clients in different industries, different sizes, etc., things like this, rinse and repeat. Just keep doing that same thing over and over again until you go from five to 10 to 15 plus clients. This is where you really start getting value and where you can stop contracting because once you have five to 10 clients, you're making some pretty decent money and you are then able to work wherever it is that you want on the clients doing the work that you actually want to do. Get out there guys, start freelancing in cybersecurity. It's a magical industry where you can do lots of fun different types of work, no day is the same. Maybe one day you're doing compliance auditing, the next day you're doing pen testing, then you're doing security reviews and secure document storage, things like this. It's it's actually really fun. As far as like a cybersecurity industry is concerned, it's it's you get to have your fingers in lots of different pies, which is cool because then, like I said, no day is the same and you actually get to start doing some fun stuff that you want to do. And you can use this as like a, an entry to doing some travel while work or work while travel, maybe the other way around where you're, you're working in, maybe you want to go to Japan, for example, and you want to do your work while you're in Japan. 
You do your work during the day or at night, depending on the time zones that your clients are in. And then from there, travel, go see the world, go have some fun, eat some fun food, see some culture, you know, get out there. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did smash like, comment below, and I'll see you on the next video.